The Japanese foreign minister is in London to iron out a trade deal with the UK. Toshimitsu Motegi is hoping to wrap up negotiations on a post-Brexit deal. Both sides are working to replace the existing agreement Britain has with Japan through the European Union. Holly Hudson joins us now from London for more on this. Holly, what is Britain expecting from Japan in the negotiations and who's likely to benefit more from the deal? Well, the UK currently conducts its bilateral trade with Japan through the existing deal that they negotiated with the EU last year. And Britain was initially expecting or hoping that that deal would just automatically be rolled over, as is the case with some other countries. But Tokyo refused. And as such, it means that by the end of this year, when the post-Brexit transition period ends, that deal expires for Britain. It no longer applies. So that is why they're rushing to secure their own version of the EU-Japan deal now, UK-Japan trade is totaling worth around £30 billion uh, pounds a year. So that's one reason they're keen to, keen to get this over the line. Another is, of course, that this will be the first major trade deal signed by Britain uh, since Brexit, something they're going to want to shout about. But actually, if you listen to uh, UK officials here, they believe this might only boost GDP by 0.07%. The UK's uh, own trade office estimating that uh, UK exports and services to Japan might increase as a result of this deal by around 21%. But going the other way, imports from the country could increase 79%. So clearly a bigger prize for Japanese exporters. So how different would this new agreement be from the EU-Japan trade deal, which was just signed last year then? Well, it will be largely the same in many respects. London just want to expand it into areas such as digital trade, get better access to services such as uh, data, agriculture, and a reduction in additional Japanese tariffs. Uh, pork and a cut in car export uh, tariffs are also being discussed. But Japan have been pretty clear that any deal that they do make with the UK will not be as ambitious as with the EU, simply because it's a smaller market. Nevertheless, they want to strengthen ties on security and defence and of course, maintain the sort of privilege that they have in the British market at the moment rather than uh, moving to World Trade Organization terms. And in a sign of what sort of priority Tokyo are putting on this, this is the first overseas trip by a Japanese minister since the coronavirus. And Japan is, of course, still on the list of countries denied entry to the UK. Uh, the Japanese minister and his negotiating team have been made an exemption following a test. And they're actually in a self-imposed bubble moving between the hotel and only the negotiation negotiating table because the Japanese minister, Mr. Motegi, actually said that these are difficult negotiations and the national interest is at stake, so they can't be conducted over the phone. Thanks for that update. Holly Hudson speaking to us from London.